everyone, it's me, and today we are doing yet another fashion-themed video, only this time we are focusing on Halloween costumes! Today I'm going to be taking a look and giving a commentary on the good, the bad, and the very bad. That's right, I'm ripping these costumes apart at the seams, so let's jump on into this. Well, looky here, a sexy Harry Potter costume. Is this what J.K. Rowling had in mind all those years ago? Was it? I don't know, maybe she did feel all soft and staticky under the covers one night. Who's to say? I guess this costume is sexy, but also sort of modest. But to be perfectly honest, I thought Harry Potter was sexy enough before. This is the cutest costume that I have seen in quite a while. It reminds me of fancy children that live in Connecticut. And the woman of the house spends money on stuff that she doesn't want or need just to make a point. That and to stifle her hidden frustrations and secret longings. Working outside of the home? F that, I'll just go to TJ Maxx. That's right, I'm a Maxinista. Okay, so the lady of the house may have some issues, but this costume is so cute it just makes you want to pull your hair out! What she came up with while her husband was in the other room secretly on chat lines talking to Asian women who will love you a long time is adorable! This costume totally rocks! And this costume is one that would be very easy to construct as well as to replicate a hat, some felt, paints, markers, a tablecloth, or more felt, glue, scissors, etc. Pineapples aren't just for snacking on anymore while poolside, now they are for being. Hey, if it gets you candy, then why not? Hey, is it true what they say? You know, pineapples have more fun. Well, let's find out. Uh, I really hate couple costumes. I'm like, get your own identity and watch with all of the food costumes anyway. Way to say, I have no self-control at all. It's just funny because it's Halloween and you can be anything or anyone and you choose to be a boring sandwich. These people are not the butter to my bread or the chico to my stick. This is a cute idea, but what this really says is I looked online last minute and hey, we want to impress our friends, like, we are so ironic, dude, I bet you wouldn't have expected this from us, and the answer to that is no, we wouldn't have expected that from you because we didn't expect you to come because we didn't think you would have been able to find a sitter for your two-year-old terror, but cute nonetheless. What might have made this costume even cuter is if this lady were missing a leg or if she were on crutches and kind of bent her leg in a way where you couldn't see it. Or if she just put both feet into one big ass drag queen heel and just hopped around all evening. Yeah, it might look a little awkward, but hey, we're all feeling a little awkward because we have to look at you in this costume. Get it? Chick Magnet! Oh, this is so 2014, and you guessed it, lesbians! Or one lesbian and one that will be after that glass of wine is finished. She's like, come on, finish that glass of wine and let's go lay in my bed and we'll watch a movie or something. And this costume is so 2016, but nice try ladies, even though the only try you did was to disrupt the shoulder area on that cheap ass shirt and to iron on some letters. Netflix and chill, okay? P.S. I'm sure that bare shoulder will turn on a lot of men, aka your candy bowls will be full up tonight, but then again, isn't that what you were going for? Just kidding. But I do know you both love to Netflix and chill, so that's something. Now these ladies look like they know how to have fun, and I bet the one in the black isn't wearing any panties either. Like a good cocktail, or a really bad one, this is a one in one ratio. This is one part's cute, and one part sad. It depresses me, but it's cute. But it looks like a tablecloth or a tree skirt from a Christmas celebrating goth's house. They want the gifts after all. 
What I really want is to live my life so I never find myself as one of these women dressed in a poncho smiling like a f idiot for no reason at all. But then again, maybe Watts' name just made a funny joke over there where you can't see him because he's out of the frame. Oh, Hillary's emails? Ha ha ha! And you guessed it, more lesbians, but this time they are video game plumbers. Get that claw figured out. Have those poncho ladies been flushing pads again? I'll kill them. I swear to God, I'll kill them. This is an older idea, but still cute because for whatever reason, we love Barb. It's Eleven dressed as a normal girl with her box of Egos. Hey, Lego my Ego Eleven. This is easy, simple, and cute, and totally out of date, and I totally approve. Quick question. What is this costume, and who is she supposed to be? Cue the Jeopardy music! Or, better yet, I'll just tell you. This woman is Cruella de Vil. This comes from a wear what you have and be what you want type of blog, and I think not. The cigarette holder is good, and it works. It's in keeping with the character, and it's so de Vil, but everything else... A total no. For starters, Cruella wouldn't be caught dead in that hacksaw of an outfit, not to mention, if you are going to be Cruella, then at least do the most iconic thing and wear a f two-toned wig. Now, in case you have been living under a rock, a big concept regarding Halloween costumes is that they need to be sexy and suggestive. Well, this one takes the cake. Isn't this what Harvey Weinstein wore to the office? Wanna be in the movies, girls? No, I don't wanna be in the movies after all. And rub me? Well, let me find my reading glasses first. Oh, and a pair of tweezers because that thing is small and rock my world. The only thing you're going to be rocking is your body back and forth after I turn your ass down and you decide to drink that rejection away. And remember guys, beer and liquor, don't mix them. Let that be a lesson for you this Halloween season. Oh look, I've died and gone to heaven because I see an angel. This might be a costume that you have to put on once you arrive to the party. Could you imagine you were on your way and then, uh oh, you realize you forgot the rolling papers, gotta make a quick stop, and yeah, we're in a bad neighborhood too, damn. I hope you're not wearing Jordans because if you are, those suckers are fixing to get stolen. I'll say it though, hot body and my tongue could totally trace the way to Chinatown, but baby, I've seen hotter faces on mugshot.com. Um, alrighty then, way to announce to your friends and family that you not only have a kinky side, but you are also exhibitionist. Yeah, all I have to say is he wishes, not to mention he is setting any interested girl up for extreme disappointment because, honey, he just is not that big. He should go as a responsible man and put a condom over that snake, and I think that would be so cute. He could even wear a sign that says, no, I won't spread disease or get you pregnant. Now that's a man a lot of women could get under. Moving on! I found this easy last minute costume idea on a blog for single mothers. It's quick, it's easy, and it's definitely cheap. The costume? A candy wrapper! It's a cute play on words. What can I say? If you don't like it, take it up with that single mom. She works real hard, you guys. She has no man to help her. She's doing it all herself, so... Be nice. Well, this costume is sort of funny, I guess, but look at that guy's face. He looks like one huge creep, the kind that sits too closely to you on the bus. Dude thinks he's hot shit, but dude's wearing a box to an effin' party. How effin' lame. And they're all gonna laugh at you, and they are, just like your ex-wife and her new 20-something-year-old boy toy. I hear the kids call him daddy now. This costume is naughty, but at the same time, it's cute, so that's something. And it is a very easy and quick idea for a Halloween costume. Just don't wear it to the annual church's Halloween party, aka pumpkin party, because a lot of them don't like Halloween. 
and a lot of those people are stuffy AF. Way to make Satan's birthday all about yourselves, ladies. Thank you so much for watching this Halloween themed fashion commentary video. We smashed pumpkins and we ripped seams. What can I say? It was a blast. Happy Halloween.